Bundaberg Brew drinks soft drinks, they're different from normal soft drinks, um, simply because of the time and effort we, we take to, to create them. We craft them rather than mix them, uh, and I think that shows in the, in the finished product. They, uh, they, they really do uh, taste great. Bundaberg Brew drinks takes time to make the best drinks possible. It's not an easy process. If we just went and bought uh, concentrates or flavours, it, it would be far simpler, but it wouldn't be the same product. I think when you're at the supermarket and you're looking at other soft drinks, you can see they're just carbonated water and flavours, um, and that's why they are a dollar for a 1.25 litre bottle. There's nothing, nothing in them, really, apart from water and sugar. I don't know how long it would take to make a normal soft drink, but I imagine nowhere near as long as what it takes for us. <laughs> yeah. Bundaberg Brew Drinks is uh, better than most other soft drinks is because it is brewed and fermented during the process, and when you actually have a drink, it is very, very satisfying. We brew it, we ferment it, we get the flavour out of every ingredient we use. When it comes down to technology against um, an old age recipe, the old age recipe is going to win hands down. You're never going to get the same replication from a computer. It's good to have something kind of a little bit old fashioned in a, in a respect, I suppose. We're passionate about the products we brew. You look at the, the guys in the brew house, the job they do, it's fantastic. You know, let them do what they've got to do, give them the time to do it properly, and you can taste the results. We never compromise on quality. Everything that we put out is the same every time, um, and it needs to be that high level of quality. If we're not, we're, we're, we're really cheating our, uh, our fans, I guess. We grow our ginger ourselves. We've been doing that for the last year or so now. The great thing about glass is it preserves the beautiful brewed flavours that we extract from the real ingredients. There's no comparison between something in a plastic bottle and, and what we make. You just can't compare that. And the taste, it, it's, it's just, it's brilliant. A lot of people aren't aware that we do the number one lemon lime and bitters, Bundaberg lemon lime bitters in the green bottle, the Bundaberg sarsaparilla, which is the number one sarsaparilla in Australia. And um, we've launched recently, last couple of years, the sparkling selection, which includes pink grapefruit, guava, blood orange, passion fruit and lime and peachy. So we've got six beautiful flavours that um, are part of the range, all brewed with real ingredients. We want to make sure that we give our customers a quality product and that makes me very proud. I think it comes with pride that, that I can get that, that product to the customer and know that I have confidence that it's really good. After Coke, Schweppes and, and Pepsi, we're the next biggest in the business. Bundaberg Brew Drinks are exporting to over 30 international uh, countries at the moment. The overseas market is super exciting. Our US market's up 40% on last year. It's unbelievable that you think, you know, this little Aussie company has grown so large and is, is so big now and enjoyed by so many people across the world. I think about the ships going over the oceans to the other countries and, you know, the trucks that I know that are already on the road or on the trains across to WA, yeah, it's exciting. We're getting celebrities like Russell Crowe, Hugh Jackman, um, consuming the product, um, being active in social media in that space and saying that this is the best tasting ginger beer in the world. I think we're successful because we have the right plans, we have the right people and I think we've got the right location. Um, but at the end of the day, we're nothing without the product. Our product is, is the best product around. It gets to the stage now when I walk into a shop, I actually look at the fridge at the shop and I go, oh yeah, there's mine, there's mine, there's mine. And I can actually look at the dates on the bottle and go, oh yeah, well, I did that one. <laughs> and it puts us on the map. You know, a little town in Bundaberg that we go all around the world. I mean, that's amazing. If you see ginger beer on the shelf in a, in a supermarket in the UK, it's pretty amazing to think that that was made in Bundaberg. We have real people making it. I can take you up there and I can show you Jono. He makes it. Wingy, he makes it. Take you down to the line. Darren bottles it. You know, Mark bottles it. But that's the difference. We know our people. It is built upon a family tradition uh, and I guess in a lot of ways we, we operate almost like an extended family as well. My favourite brew would be I'm a big sass person. I love my sarsaparilla. Our peachy, when you sip it, it's like biting into a peach. You can almost feel the furry skin, like it's, it's delightful, <laughs> that you just can't get from a peach flavour. Yeah, blood orange is a nice drink, um, but I'd still stick with ginger beer on. Passion fruit, and I like peachy, 
the tasting note just brings me back to my childhood with lime. I, I love that. They're such authentic flavours, I think, that they play like back to those memories you have of a kid um, in ways that other soft drinks can't. We're just a little company. We just make a small soft drink. It is so exciting to see it in different places and it's almost getting like a little challenge now. Where can we find it next? Taste the Bundaberg Road Truth for yourself.